going on everyone? Well, guess what? We're unboxing another water box. What the hell, saltwateraquarium.com? Um, no, guys. Those guys are doing an awesome job trying to get information out to you guys and real um, opinions. So, shout out to them if you guys are not following those guys or you know, heard of saltwateraquarium.com. Let me get out the frame here. There you go. All right. That's them. I know a lot of you guys already know who they are. It is what it is. But these are for people that has not heard of them. So, um, all I'm saying is give those guys a, a, a hand here um, because, they, you know, they work really hard. All I can say is... <laughs> All I can say is, you know, um, I'm sorry, I have to use my phone because you're far away. But, you know, you got to give them, you know, give them, a, a, you know, a hand. I mean, it, you know, all these aquariums here uh, to kind of let you guys know what your options are, um, all that cool stuff. And uh, honestly, just getting a real, real ass opinion. All right. So... Real ass opinion. So let's get this on. You guys already know it's a water box. Now, you guys, if you ain't seen the other water box, I unlock this one right here, this 10, Q10. Um, yeah. Let's see with this one. Let's see if this one holds up to the other one. Once again, um, as far as uh, YouTube and all their greatness and getting stuff out, notifications and stuff, I don't care. It's, you know, penalized me for not making videos in quite some time, I, you know, it's all right. Doesn't matter to me, I know what I'm doing, and at the end of the day, it will be okay. So, and things will grow like they used to. My stats are really high, but I've also been off for a while, so as far as what it is, uh, it's really high. So let's let's look at this real quick and then get into some more conversations. And one conversation I want to say, can, hopefully you guys hear me loud and clear. I feel like I'm talking extra loud just because of this. All right. Um, all right. So let's look at this. But anyway, one thing I want to say. Um, is a big thank you. You know what I mean? They're doing it. They're doing what they can. That's what they're supposed to do. Um, is is care about you guys and your purchases and making sure things get to you on a timely manner. And uh, I think they're doing a hell of a job on that. What do you guys think? For you guys that order from them, what do you say? How fast do you get your product? Obviously, outside this past year, you know, with shipping, I know things are kind of like whatever uh but yeah um it is what it is same thing here as far as this let me see uh what do you guys think about as far as them getting your products to you let me grab this pump here um same thing guys this is the same pump that was in the other one. Same thing. Uh, it's pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. Um, it's pretty quick, you know. I think I think uh, they're doing a hell of a job, you know. Whether they like me or not, that's another question. I don't know. Um, you know, they might like me. Would I like me? I don't know. Um, you get another one of these, these media, this wasn't in the other one. So what they did is, okay, that's the same. Everything's the same. Um, uh, your bigger bag of your bio, um, carbon, two sponges, and all that. So it comes in this little media pack kit. Same thing, filter false. Same thing as in the tent. So, um, you know, should I take this one out and really 
look at it, same bottom. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just see. What do you think Saltwater Aquarium should do for themselves? Like, as a company, you think that they can do anything different as a company? Just wondering. So, wrapped up the same, same concept. Everything's the same here as the 10. Uh, let me see. Let me ask you guys something. Let me see who's all in here. Um, real quick, let's see. Real quick, live chat. I think it is a great uh, planet, uh, getting a plant. Planet? I think he is getting a planet. Oh, as far as my aquarium, yes. Um, I saltwater aquarium. Um, uh, I think said it, it, no matter what. Like I think like six weeks, six to eight weeks. Uh, as far as that's concerned. Uh, so yeah, we're waiting. We're waiting on that. Obviously, it's just a waiting. So anyway, Insane Reefer, Wills, Claudius, Patrick. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. What the? Yep, question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up, Marcus? Hello, hello. Harkins, Sherry's Reef. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, hit the like. It's pretty quick. Yeah, a few days. I need a big logo. With my next order, uh, let's see, been great, two or three days here, yeah, there you go, uh, express fast shipping, yeah, 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 uh, they have lightning fast, uh, lightning fast services, just Reef Tank says, uh, it's really quick for me since it comes from Phoenix, yeah, they got another plant over there as well. They need to send you a 200 gallon water box. Um, you, you guys tell them what they need to send me. How about that? Um, you know, um, but at the end of the day, I think we're going to 180. It's a 180. So it's close enough, you know, on that one. Um, I don't know why Harkins just retracted that, but okay. Is this a 15, uh, 15 gallon? So. This is the, yes, I believe, yes, the uh, Mini Peninsula 15. So, I like this. I like, I, I like it a lot. It's the Peninsula Style 15. It's not the Box Cube, or should I say the Cube 10. Uh, this is the Peninsula Style. Great customer service. What's up, West Coast Reefer? What's going on? So let me ask you guys a serious question, and I need all seriousness, and guess what? I'll leave this up and walk away forever. You think Saltwater Aquarium did a, uh, should be fucking with me at all? Um, you know, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> let us know down in the comment section, buddy. <laughs> anyway, uh, is it a good choice? Am I a good choice for Saltwater Aquarium? Just wonder. Not a good choice for anybody. Anyway, so let's unwrap this son of a gun and look at this beauty. Let's look at this beauty. Those are actually really nice uh, despite their size. I personally like them. That's Claudius. Claudius said that. I'm going to tell you right now how, how I like it. <laughs> All right. So. Once again, I must say, um, I must say that, uh, yeah, nice tank. What I like, glass. I love the glass box, honestly. Um, I love the glass box. I know people are in the chat saying stuff, but I, I'm trying to get through this. Um, love the glass. Once again, it's got this padded bottom already on. Padded bottom, silicone, once again, they got their uh, water box engraved into the glass there.
The front pane, the silicone looks good there. Sides look very, very clean. Very clean. That's one thing I can say. Uh, very clean. Yes. Very, very clean sides. Very, uh, and what I mean by it is the sides is the silicone. All right. This is the Waterbox 15, the Peninsula Mini 15. All right, same thing, inside. Um, the, the, the exact same silicone welds inside was exactly the same as the 10. Um, not as clean as the inside, but you are talking about internal. So that's, that's the only difference. This aquarium here, I think we will do something with this. Uh, this aquarium here. Yeah, I think we'll do something with this. What I what, what I have no idea, um, but we'll probably do something with this aquarium. I really actually I actually love this aquarium. I like it. I'm not a big fan of. Obviously, you guys already know this is going to be for the YouTube slash office slash uh, saltwateraquarium dot com uh, talk and uh, all that cool stuff. But uh, yeah. I actually do like this a lot. I, I like this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, did I say I like this more than the 10? Yes. Um, just because I like the Peninsula style look over just a basic cube. If you guys haven't noticed that when I talked about these uh, Fluval, the Fluval e Evo and the Fluval, um, uh, what is this one? 13 and a half. The Evo. They're, they're both Evos. The ones are uh, what? Five gallon and the other ones are 13 and a half Evo Peninsula styles that are just kind of whatever, what I would use those for. I like the I like the bow frack on the other system and the bigger system. I'll probably be doing something with that as well. So we probably be setting up several little tanks as well. And then the rest will probably maybe do some kind of giveaway or something like that. Um, I wouldn't use this as a uh, frag QT tech. Well, I guess you could use this as a nice frag QT tech, actually. You know what? Maybe so. And, you know, what I can do is take these, uh, my whatchamacallits here over to my, um, over to my, uh, my, where my old 300 is and put these media inside the, uh, my buddy's tank. And, uh, yeah. Put it inside my buddy's tank and, and, and seed those and then kickstart. Or really just go ahead and um, add some bacteria and and all that and dose feed and, you know, put it on this. I mean, really, that's all we're going to have. We're not going to run, you know, on a new system. I'm not going to start carbon right away when I'm, you know, adding, you know, a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to let the carbon sit and let this thing do its course, run its course. Um, can it grow some sticks? Well, yeah, you put the right light on there, you know. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's up? I think they can work with who they want to and yes to you. Oh, well, thanks, Harkins. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. They can work with whoever they want to work with and do whatever the hell it is they want to do. But we got to definitely appreciate them. Uh, you know, it's, this is uh, quite a few people's options to uh, – you know, and not to be funny, man, there's a lot of people, who, how many people started off really small? I mean, not to be funny, since I've been on YouTube and, you know, decided to, you know, come on out and share some wisdom and, and you know, taking granted, you know, no good, you know, no do, no good deed goes without being punished. You know, I've, I took my share of Wiccans, you know what I mean, and dealing with just numb nuts, but you know, how many people, what I realize is how many people actually start off on small systems. It's, you know, and I don't know why that is, quite frankly. I don't know if the, the new era is start start small and work your way up to big because a lot of people that start this way have a really hard time going bigger. And I mean that. They have a hard time going bigger um, on their system. You know, don't ask me, you know, why that is. I, I don't know because smaller is more manageable for them and it doesn't take much to tweak something, but it also doesn't take much to just destroy something either. So on a smaller scale, 
Um, I just see way more people uh, go smaller than they do than, than they go bigger. So to me, it's kind of like what, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. But, you know, I love this one. This one will stay. I do like the look of this one. And um, I can see great potential of doing stuff with this one. Um, I don't know if I want to do one species or a couple different species. A really just a, a really nice, soft looking species tank here. Um, that's what we'll probably do. Something real small and nice. I need to find or do something because we're going to have the big tank here. Um, I don't really want to tank over there. So um, I'm trying to where you guys are at right now, as far as my desk is concerned. Um, I need to figure out what I'm doing with that. You know, maybe just a wall to wall. So uh, countertop, you know, slash desk. Um, that might be the right route I go. I'm not 100% sure, but that might be the route we go. I have to look and, and kind of figure that out. So either way, it is what it is, but this will be, I think this is going to be in here. So this might be in this room. Um, more than likely, I, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I have to figure out what else to do here. The 32 is what I was thinking about as far as a frag of the Evo, and then maybe give away these other three uh, aquariums, do something. I don't know. You guys will have to figure something out. I'm not, uh, you know, I, I, I used to give away a lot. I used to do a lot of giveaways, man. I know a lot of you guys remember that. I gave away a lot, a lot. And then, you know, you get to a point where people, and you just, like, people just kind of ruin stuff because they get mad, they don't win, or they think somebody's cheating, or, you know, it's it's always something. You can't please everybody, right? Um, so we're not even going to go down that road, but we'll figure something out. You know what? Uh, you know, everybody that's a member, um, maybe I'll do a member. Uh, the member, whoever's a member on my, uh, as far as my YouTube channel, maybe we'll pick out of these three here, uh, which one the members would, and then I'll do something for members only, and then the other two would be just for the general public, should I say it like that, the general public, uh, or YouTube followers. You know, no offense to anybody, but uh, members should be... Um, because they support what I what it is that I do, so therefore they should be um, thought of first. That's just how I feel, and I'm sure you guys that uh, would feel that way too. You know, um, so amongst them, you know, do something amongst the members only, and then uh, the other ones just to the general public. So uh, anyway, but yeah, I definitely want to do this. The 32, I want to check that out and see about the frack, making that a frack tank and using the, the Fluval's lights to grow corals. We shall see, right? So using the Fluval light to try to possibly um, do corals with. So I think I might do one tank here and the other tank there and then you guys here at my desk. That's what I think I might do. I might put that in that corner, this in this corner, cat a corner right there, cat a corner right there. So I have two tanks there, one behind me, and my room will look really good. And then maybe more uh, pictures, paintings, uh, you know, maybe maybe water box since we represented water box with saltwater aquarium, maybe fluval stickers, water box, anything that we took like we talk about, you know, whether it's good or bad. Uh, maybe we should make this a wall of, uh, what are you guys thinking that? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe a wall here of, of, uh, of um, you know, things that people that we talk about. Maybe I need to make sure I, I, I think it's just my camera that's kind of got this. You know, I don't know. Maybe I just need to tweak it just a little bit that way. It's kind of hard for me to tell, you know. But anyway. We will do that. We shall do that. Uh, let's see. You're going to maintain all, all those tanks. Uh, yes, because the key to maintaining all these tanks is huh, don't go crazy and keep it simple, stupid. Um, and, and that's just that. You know, something that we actually 
preach a lot over here, as if, if one may say. Um, that's what we preach over here. So if you want to run multiple tanks, go for it. But at the end of the day, what I'm going to do to keep it with my busy life is keep it simple. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, and, you know, by keeping it simple what is exactly what I mean. Keep it simple. You know, I don't want uh, a bunch of stuff on these tanks. I just want this, a light, a heater, light, heater, your return, your circulation pump, and that's about it. And when I say circulation pump, I'm talking about probably that's it. So a pump that's going to give enough, come out these nozzles here that they provide to create some kind of flow. And that's just that, you know, I'm not talking about a power head with inside. Nope. Just some, uh, just a pump, baby. You know, it has some flow. I mean, if I was to do a little pump in here, it'd have to be really small. Only pump that I could think of that's really, really, really tight. And, and kind of what I liked was on my wife's tank was that hydro, the, um, High door, uh, what you gonna call high door, the high door pump. So, uh, you're going to water changes on us. Hey, listen, Andrea, uh, you know what I'm gonna do, all right? Um, and yes, obviously, water changes. Um, you know, I'm gonna do water changes. Uh, I told you I'm already going to keep it keep it simple, and uh, I just explained uh, also that uh, I'm going to keep it really simple. Basically, just a light, uh, a heater. I might not even need a heater. I don't even know if I actually need a heater, but if I do, it'd be a very small heater. I keep my house around 72 um, all year round, 71, 72 all year round. So. That, if that answers your questions there. Um, also, um, yeah, I mean, these are going to be low bit, low budget uh, tanks. So, yep, water change. Um, how often would, he, would I need to do water changes on them? Well, if I do a really softy, uh, soft tank and all that, well, you know, if I'm doing all softies here, this is where, you know, you can get away with all, a little bit of a lot of stuff because, I mean, they're not really a very clean tank. They're not a very dirty tank. They're just a whatever tank. So a, a feed here and there, I mean, I'll change this out every so often. I mean, I would not do uh, water changes as one may think. So I guess, you know, he has a, a good point there to direct me into maybe my water changes if I'm going to do them or not do them. So, uh, but no, if I'm doing this aquarium here with mainly soft corals, this aquarium here would not get to, uh, your 10% weekly water change. Not at all, not even close. So um, this aquarium won't get it. Uh, this aquarium will be done to go ahead and make things multiply pretty darn quick. So keeping the right nutrients balance, uh, which would be just on me, uh, as far as calcium alkalinity and stuff like that, it's not that major uh, a major deal when it comes to saucies. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys uh, know that by now they don't have a skeleton um, skeletal system so therefore they're not really in high demand or demand for those items as one may think or would know um, so that's what I see with this one no matter what this is going to be my uh, small a uh, very soft coral tank um, just to have some little flowy stuff and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to do with this aquarium here. A um, couple pieces of rock, not overboard, just a couple little pieces here just for things to grab onto. Um, some some gravel, um, maybe some crushed corals on this one. Maybe some crushed coral uh, versus sand or maybe a little bit of sand and crushed coral or something like that or, you know, I don't know yet. Something like that or using um, some arms media uh, and crushing it up to make a substrate bottom that we use in calcium reactors. So that will, you know, do its thing as well. And it gives a lot of these soft corals something to actually grab, grab onto if they decide to float around the aquarium, something hard. You know, if we got to get rid of some stuff and make it easier when it comes to fragging, they already fragged themselves and they already attached themselves to uh, items within the aquarium. 
So that's easy versus sand. So that's something that I'm thinking about doing um, on this. So we can stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up, hit the damn thumbs up, people. All right, let's go. It's morning time. We are live. We are doing our thing. We have opened up our second water box right along with the other three flugels uh, from saltwateraquarium.com. So, yes, at the end of the day, uh, what lights? Uh, I think I'm going to do a Kessel on this one. Maybe I'll do the Kessel. Maybe I'll do a Kessel. Kessel light on this? I don't know. Um, we'll figure out something. So maybe a Kessel or something. Uh, something high tech with some old school simplicity. There you go. Old school simplicity. So keeping it simple. Um, this is going to be something easy, fun for you guys to follow along on. This will be the, what is it, 15 gallons? 15 gallon mini peninsula or peninsula mini water box aquarium. Shout out to water box too. I must say um, that there's two aquariums that I've opened up. <laughs> and yeah, they might be five gallon difference, uh, but the quality in them, I must say, I like, I like, I will definitely uh, uh, respect Joe May for as of today. Uh, because, you know, not to be funny, hey, I really look for shittiness when it comes to something. Not like the flu not now they, I wasn't really impressed with those. I mean, it is what it is. There's purpose that I would use those for, um, but I'm sure flu don't give a hell, give a hell or give a damn, however you want to put it. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it's, I think this, especially those first two, the one has the, 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 the trim going around, uh, the plastic, the cheap as hell. They're better off without the damn trim. The other one has a floating trim that goes underneath. Uh, it feel like it just break the hell off. I would like to see something firmer, rubber feet on the one that has the, uh, free floating look, aquarium look. Uh, the lights look cheap as hell. The pumps are cheap as hell. I mean, for real, for real, I mean, it's hard for me to say, like, I would do this regardless. Like, this this peninsula, what is it, the five-gallon? I would do that five-gallon, you know, if I wanted something to kind of look decent, uh, but it, it really isn't, but it does look decent for quarantine. Like, if I wanted to have a nice looking quarantine system, all-in-one quarantine system, not a bunch of quarantine tanks hooked it down to one filtration where I'm passing a bunch of shit to one another. Um, you know, and if I was to do quarantine, you know, or I didn't have to have, you know, uh, a bunch of whatever's on the back, you know, that, you know, may work, may not work sometimes. I hang on the back, which one? If I wanted a nice, clean, clean look, um, this is what I would use. Um, but it's very hard at $110 to, you know, say, you know, with cheap ass pump, cheap, uh, everything looks cheap. It's cheap. You know, I say they might, might have had, because they're probably buying so many of these, they might have 20 bucks in stock in, in, in maybe 20 bucks in material. If that, you know, that when it's all said and done and I'm, I, and I might be giving way too much credit on that. You know, as far as what they got in that, they, they're buying those in unit. How many units they're buying those at, or having that done at, whatever? I mean, you're talking pennies on a dollar. You know, understand shipping, understand box, and all this other stuff. All it's going to come into play, but at the same time, their profit margin on that is probably ridiculous. You know what I mean? They probably make uh, a, a nice gapper on that. Uh, are you going to run um, high goes? Uh, am I going to run hydros? Hydros on what? Um, let's see. That 15 needs a better pump. Uh, that's my only issue. Oh, this? Uh, this will definitely get a better pump. I probably oh, All these aquariums, honestly, would probably... Uh, I would probably go with the CJ pumps. Every one of them. Not to be funny. Uh, this pump here... But to keep this um, on a budget, this pump too, it's the same thing. I mean, you got in the bottom here though, you got a nice slider. Okay. I mean, it's a it's a it's a decent slider, it doesn't stick, it slides over, whatever. 
Um, what pump this is, don't know. Um, you know, on this aquarium, honestly, it, it is what it is. You know, I, I suggest people probably do switch out their pumps for me. You know, I'll probably switch it out or I'll probably just work with this pump until it's dead and, and get another pump and have another pump, the CJ pump on hand uh, for this aquarium and call it a day. So that's what I would do with this aquarium. Like I said, I think this aquarium's cool. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep this aquarium. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't know if I need this, but I could probably just stick this back in the box without going to all this extra saran wrap. She's it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's just me. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Uh, you guys got me out here early in the morning, man. I think, I think, you know, the cool thing is, you know, like I said, there was a time, like I said, there was a, quite a few years back. I'm going to tell you all the story. Saltwateraquarium.com came at me at a show. Real talk. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I keep it real. They might not remember, but I remember everything. My wife hates it because I, I remember everything, word for word, a lot of stuff. So... Um, they came at me to show, and and uh, kind of wanted me to do this a long time ago, to be quite honest. Um, and told me directly, told me, you know, if it's you know, basically, do you, man? If it's shit, it's shit, if it's good, it's good, you know. And that's why I respected them so much, you know, out the gate, because I ain't never had any company tell me nothing like that. Now, I've had companies come and hit around the bush that they want uh, me to maybe possibly run by, run things by them and uh, all this other stuff, you know, before I, and that's when I just, I just turn a blind eye to that shit, man. Now, I'm going to be honest, when I first, when they first said something to me, saltwateraquarium.com, can I be honest? I thought it was bullshit. You know what I mean? Because you got to put yourself in my shoes. I hear a lot of people do a lot of talking. They do a lot of talking. And they never stick to anything they fucking say. Not to be fucked. They never do. They, they say one thing, and slowly it comes out, they do another thing. Slowly, over time. They say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then as soon as you start doing shit, it slowly comes out. Well, they start feeling a certain type of way, maybe. They start going in a different, want to go in a different direction on you, maybe. Or want you to go in a different direction, you know? Shit like that. I don't appreciate shit like that. That's, that's, that's fucked up. You know, I'm a man of my word. I do what I do. I, I say what I say. And that's that. You know, and I think that's how life should be, you know. So, you know, I, at first I didn't, I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hit him up. I didn't do anything like that. You don't believe me. I'm sure, you know, they'll see this too. But at the end of the day, I didn't hit him up. I didn't uh, follow through. I didn't try to contact them in that way, or, you know, or anything like that. I'm being honest. I didn't, you know. Um Obviously, you know, we got Mr. Saltwater Tank now as well, you know, which was a, a good fit. You know, a lot of people sleep on Mr. Saltwater Tank. He's been around for quite some time. Some people like him, some people don't. But, I mean, that's the same shit with me. You know, at the end of the day, we can't, you know, his audience and who he engages with will fit him and who my audience is and who I engages with fits me, right? So that's just how that goes. But uh, I didn't hit him up. I didn't do anything, you know, because a lot of people say a lot of shit and they never follow through with it. You know, they they, tap, they talk a good game and, you know, they come off like they, you know, whatever the man or whatever the case may be. But ultimately, it all comes to a hit, too. You know, it all comes out some way, shape or form. It all, you know, whatever. But long story short, you know, uh, I never said anything or whatever. You know, um, 
And that's how, you know, that happened as well, you know. And here I am today, um, you know, I, I am, I am, uh, I, I, I'm glad that I'm not being censored, I guess, you know, in a way, because, you know, I've, I've got to kick it with these guys. Like, I've, I've kicked it with them. I'm hang, I've hung out with them. I've, you know, I've obviously been to the Southwood Aquarium shop and all that other stuff as well. You know, out to dinners and stuff like that. You know, and, you know, you always try to read people. You always try to get, you know, where somebody's heart truly is or where they're coming from. And those same people are trying to read you too. You know what I mean? Um, the only difference is there's not shit to read about me. This is me. You know what I mean? Either I'm going to like what you got to say or I don't like what you got to say. Either I agree with you or I don't. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be cool with you. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be your friend. I got friends. I got I got, I got got friends that, that will stomp, stomp your head in type friends. You know what I mean? Um, big, bad boys, you know what I'm saying, that don't play. And I get into beefs all the time. And, and it's good. It's man-to-man, macho-to-macho. It's no different than having a nice football game and ooh, doo, doo, or Conor McGregor fight that just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be like, eh, eh, you know, but we don't take it to that next level. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it's, it's just a man thing. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's, they're, they're good guys, man. Um, I have yet to have a problem or anything. Uh, they have not told me to do something other than just be myself. So respect, to, you know, for them on that. Now, um, you know, and I can't say that about anybody else besides one other company. Um, you know, um, the other company was uh, Hy- uh, the Hy- uh, Hydra, right, right? Or Hydor, Hydor, those, those lights. Those lights I did, um, Hydor. You know what was said? Now, here's what was said. Hey, man, I just want you to just try these out, man. Just see what these these lights are doing, man. You know, what do you think or whatever? Now, I ain't going to lie. I was pretty pissed off with those lights. I made it nothing. You know, I didn't like, I took me forever to get those lights to program. And I'm trying to do these lights as if they're radion lights. Well, here to find out, whatever you do with this light, you got to separately do it to this other light. There was no, the instructions suck. You know what I mean? All that sucked. You know what I'm saying? And I made a video. Oh, yeah. They immediately called. What's going on? You know, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't like, oh, man, that's messed up. No, here, let, how can you, how can we help make this whatever? How, what can we do? Okay. Get the damn manual together. You know what I'm saying? Make this shit where it's out the box because if somebody sees that it's going to take them X amount of hours to do something, well, fuck, you might as well just go over to Ecotech and just say, let me get a light. You might as well just really go to Castle then at that point. You know what I'm saying? Not to be funny because they communicate, the directions are easy. You know, it is what it is. And that's the thing with these companies, man, or somebody that's going to, you know, uh, allow you to be you. I mean, that's what matters, man. I don't, I don't know about how you guys feel uh, when it comes to this type of shit here, but to me, I need realness. Let me do the job. Okay, like, I, I, you know, instead of some d d pipes on my motorcycle, I, I went with some crow works because I went off another person's personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? On sound and how they how they gonna sound? Knowing damn well, I still gonna put some D and D pipes on my, my 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 heart once I do the motor upgrade and stuff like that. Now a lot of y'all know that I like to ride. That's my second fucking hobby. I mean, who cares, right? No different than me getting in my car and having a certain car that I like. You know what I mean? And talking about it, right? It's just it's my it's just my extra. If I'm in the cars, I'm in the car. If I'm in the guns, then I'm in the guns. You know, which we got some nice toys too. Um, my thing is, um, the ability, you know, um, to just be real, like, not like for myself, I I went off with somebody else's stuff. I really like them. I know, can I get better? Of course I can. But right now I'm not looking for better right now. Right now it's one time I'm in a state that I can only ride, you know, maybe 20, 26 weeks out of the year, you know, something like that, maybe longer. I mean, I would make some trips when the snow's melting and, 
It's at least 40 degrees out. I'll throw the chaps on and I'll get out here and burn some burn some rubber, right? Um, you know, that but my point is I, I went off somebody else's pay, even though that's not my idea for my pipes. You know what I'm saying? Are they a good pipe? Yes. Um, you know, can I get better? Uh, hell yeah, I can do better. But once again, it's like these aquariums, you know. You know, this this Evo here, this five gallon is like, do I, do I, what I, you know, is that my first option? Probably not. But then I got to think about that. Would that be my first option? I got a brand new room. It's clean looking. It's sleek looking. I got me shelves going across here that I want maybe some frag tanks here. My, my nice main tank here. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to really highlight my room. My fish room. Well, if I think about it like that, then I want something like that. Even though I might not feel that it's worth a hundred dollars, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy it anyway. Why? Because it's clean, sleek looking, and it's doing everything that I want for my my brand new fish room. So you need to be able to be open. You need to be able to just keep it real. And a lot of companies don't want you to keep it real. There's a lot of companies that say, hey. My name's up behind you or whatever the case may be, that's going to create, well, you know, here's the funny part. Here's the funny part about maybe, and I'm just being honest, okay, like someone at Aquarium's name's here. People know how I talk. You know, people might have a problem and want to go to him, give him some beef because his name's right here. But what's the difference that if I can do a collab with somebody or I sit here and look at you guys, and I sit here and shout your name off. Hey, Bobby Calhoun, awesome that you're here. Uh, Naked Dog Reefer, cool, man. Uh, who else? Sherry Flaskin. Hey, thanks for being members on my channel, dude. Red Sea Reefer, Hawkins Aquatics, you know, uh, Angry Owl. Uh, who else? Freedom Aquatics. You know, all these people here. Insane Reefer. I mean, I sat here and shot you guys out. Now, people that hate me, guess what? Go run over to your channel. My biggest haters that used to be my biggest fans are not my biggest haters. Not my haters are going to go to your channel because I shouted you out. Hey, Val. Hey, hey, everybody. Because I shout you out, right? Because you, you basically uh, support me. You support my channel. You support what I do. Because you support what I do, now they hate you for that. So, now, all my, all my trolls go to those channels, right? Same thing happens here. You know, you saw what acquire him, not that, not that they may give a damn or anything like that. They're here on my wall, right? You guys, you know, they're here. They're, they're here, right? You know, at the end of the day, there could be people that don't like that. Oh, that Rico dude, all he does is bump his mouth. Well, hell yeah, I bump my mouth, and I can stand up to anybody that, that, that has a problem with that. I have a right to speak. I have a right to express how I feel about anything in this room. I have a right to do anything that I want. I went and bought this new mouse, this HP mouse. Guess what? If I want to go over to HP and talk about this mouse and tell them how great or how shitty it is, that's my prerogative, and I refuse to be bullied at all. I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody wants to talk to me about it, hey, we're going out. I will buy you dinner, and then we can talk about it. And I'll make sure there's a side of ketchup just in case we might have to have some ketchup with this meal. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I don't understand why people uh, get so upset or so worked up about what somebody says. At the end of the day, people... This industry, just for you guys watching, for you guys watching, y'all have to be real about stuff. Don't 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 settle for less in this world. Because if you settle for less, all they did is bully you into something, and that's that. Don't do that. Be you. Be real. Don't just talk shit about somebody or a company or their products just because they didn't look out for you on something that you broke. Or something that uh, was your fault, or your ten months out of warranty. You know what I mean? Period. I got a Red Sea reefer tank that had I showed you guys the the silicone came off the glass a little bit at the bottom about yay long. 
Now, that was the day when I got it. That was just due after water and stuff like that, right? You know, are they going to fix it? Probably not. Why? Uh, it's a low past its warranty. That's all Red Sea Reefer, man. You know, am I going to be mad about that? Honestly, no. I'm not. It is what it is. I mean, I, I think maybe they should do something about it. But am I going to talk shit overall? I enjoyed that aquarium. That aquarium is nice. It looks good. It's got... It, I, I can't complain about it. If I, if you know, if there was something that I could complain about, then I would share that with you. I mean, okay, let me take it back. Only thing I didn't like is that the reservoir sat on top, and you had to pick a side or whatever. It was just in the way. I don't like the reservoir on top of their tanks. I think it's. I think you got to find a different need. Use some kind of other reservoir. So I went with someone aquarium, got on there, got their own reservoir, put it inside, and set it up on top. It's already a cramped space. Anytime you're dealing with sumps underneath your aquarium, you know it's a cramped space. So let alone put another glass tank on top of your glass sump, that shit's in the way. You know, I'm just being real. I, I can, you know, that, but somebody could go in and be like, no, hell no. Red Sea Reefer needs to whatever. It's been, you know, you know, F them, F this, F that. You know, they can get do all that. But at the end of the day, if your shit's out of warranty, it's out of warranty. No, I already told you how I felt about warranties. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about it, to be quite frank. I, it, will it hold up? More than likely, I don't know. And if it's that bad where I think I need to do something about it, guess what? I'll just take the silicone out and redo that part. You know, if it's like that, you know, clean it real good. Some uh, alcohol, scrub it down, whatever, whatever. You know, or put it in somewhere where I ain't got to worry about it. If it does go, then it goes, whatever. You know, use it as a quarantine tank. Use it as a frag tank. Maybe not so much of a display tank where I got a bunch of stuff in it, just in case something happens. My point is, anyway, uh, keep it real, Rico. That's why I'm here. I'm going to always keep it real. And, I, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you know, and hopefully saltwater aquarium and people like, you know, uh, High Door, you know, said I, I did something before with them. Uh, even with Pilot Lab, you know, I mean, I tell it like it is. I mean, at the end of the day, the difference with, you know, a food is that unless you're willing to honestly send it out and, and compare it against other products, you honestly, you're at the mercy of what other people think about it. You know, people ask me all the time, what do I think about reef enhancement? What do I think about pilot lab versus reef enhancement versus this other, pro, uh, what is it, benefits, blah, 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 blah. Um, I just been using reef uh, pilot lab for so long that that's just what I choose to use. When you hear other people say, "Oh, it's better than it," no, I mean the fragrance might be a little bit different, so you might get a little bit of different reaction. But if I took a shit in my aquarium, I'd get the same reaction. Okay, uh, and I, I'm just being honest. So all the videos that you see about the reactions of things, well, shit's gonna react. If a skunk let loose walking by you, you are gonna react. Your nose is going to wrinkle up. It might not be a pleasant smell, but your reaction is your nose is going to crinkle up and you're going to haul ass. These, these, these corals can't haul ass. They're in a, they're in a glass box. So uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, you say what you want to say, but at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is you don't know what the beneficial uh, benefits are behind these products. You don't know. So stop people, stop acting like you know, because you honestly, you don't. And that's being real. And that's not being disrespectful. That's being as real as possible. Unless you're willing to open up your wallet and send these products out and go get your own testing, shut up. That's all I can say. Be like, hey, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's good because I'm doing something. That's a mental thing. We all do that. It's a, I, if I add something and I see something, oh, it's got to be good. That's not necessarily true, guys. We, it, 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 it seems good to us because we're seeing something. We're seeing something in the product. So it is what it is. Just like alkalinity and stuff like that. We have a range, but where is the true sweet spot? That's tank by tank base. But why is that tank by tank base? Because of what reason? Oh, because of what other parameters might be in the aquarium that are messing with that parameter or what? These are things that can, hey, listen. This takes time to understand this. This is not something you think like this overnight. I've been doing this a long time. It might not sound whatever to people, but what it sounds like it's to me is a dumbed down, 
uh, understanding of how, how real is real, like how things really are. You know, there's no reason for me to get in and suit and tie and be like, well, gentlemen, we have here today, let me get my script, hold on, I forgot my lines. Um, you know, we have a, a Peninsula Mini 15 year. Uh, we are, um, yeah, and uh, this is an awesome pack here that you got. Yeah, you, you have here a water box filter media pack. Um, you have the world's best pump here. I mean, it doesn't have a name on it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's a hell of a pump. I think it's like really heavy duty. It's got some weight on it. So I would say, honestly, for what you get, it's worth the money. You, you don't even have to upgrade this. Mm -hmm. And these cute little, cute little nozzles that just look like they was just fresh off the 3D printer. I mean, uh, dude, and they give you two, they give you uh, your little hose that comes with it to stick right on the pot. It's the best aquarium ever that I could have brought. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys um, get your Rico 25% discount code uh, down here, down below. And all you have to do is type in Chinese virus. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean all you have to do is type in water box. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, you guys know I like to clown. I'm clowning, y'all. I'm clowning. Anyway, so that's what I'm saying, man. It is what it is. Um, you know, I, I think there need to be a lot more people that just keep it real, man. They just got to keep it real. It is what it is. And uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> You know, what else do you do? I mean, you get your filter socks, you got everything. I, I don't know. But at the end of the day, people need to uh, just be real. It doesn't got to be me. It's got to be whoever out here. Being real with others is, is definitely what you need to do. <laughs> he said that was actually pretty funny. That That is a, that's a plus for uh, the, the troll himself. <laughs> But anyway, uh, anyway, but no, I just, I, I, I think companies need to just understand, stop worrying about your name's on. This, this doesn't go anywhere. I go somewhere. This never goes anywhere. People will always buy from you, you companies. And I'm not just talking about software. I'm just saying in general, Waterbox, if you stick around, if Waterbox doesn't go bankrupt, Red Sea doesn't go bankrupt, you know, unlike, you know, some of these other these uh, other companies that you know I've, I've heard that just took, you know took people's money and then you know left them in the wind. Uh, what company was that recently? Uh, Mindstream. Oh, sorry, Mindstream. But at the end of the day, bullshit. You know what I mean? Bullshit. I'll say it. Bullshit. You know, nobody else wants to do. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. Everybody wants to kiss everybody's ass to get something. Listen. If this company wants to stop and whatever, so be it. At the end of the day, it doesn't stop me from being me and it doesn't stop me from doing what I need to do. And what I feel like I need to do is stop people from selling other people some bullshit stories or advice on, on, on equipment and making it seem like it's more than what it actually is because it was given to them. What do you want me to say? You, would you? Let me ask you guys. Would you like me to join the rest of the crowd that does does that, or would you rather just, regardless of your my, your feelings, that you've been you've been eyeballing this Evo five gallon for X amount of time, right? And then you come to my channel, then you just heard Rico say, "Well, <laughs> the floating part of it is really cheap, and uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to buy." It. You know, damn well you're still going to buy it. That's not enough to stop somebody from buying something. Just like the Red Sea Reefer. They've been talking about front panes coming off and all this. You know, now what they choose to do to handle those type of situations, it, I don't know. But at the end of the day, long as they handle them and they're, the people within their warranty, if they want to go outside their warranty for whatever reason or depending on how far out of warranty there was, that's on that company. That company is its own ship. And if they want to sink their ship, then they'll sink their ship. If they want to move forward and, and whatever, because, you know, I don't care what company it is. I don't give a damn what anybody says. The funny part is, know too much. It's not funny. 
The funny part, knowing too much is not funny because you know the, the more units you buy of something, the cheaper your price is. That shit comes down some, some that, uh, greatly, okay? So it is what it is, you know. At the end of the day, you know, you, you, you're going to do what you're going to do. I, I don't know. Would you? I mean, would you want me, honestly, to be like everybody else? Because if I got to be like everybody else, I got to get the hell out of here. I'm in the wrong world. I need a special spaceship to ship me up out of this world. But that's what people do. People follow other people and want to sugarcoat things. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a little something. Stop living in that bubble where everything is peaches and cream because, and, and allowing people to lie to you. Because, honestly, only person that's going to hurt is you at the end. Yes, you had the final decision. You made that. I mean, at the end of the day, let me put it like this. You can't get mad at the pencil for misspelling their word on your paper, can you? You're going to be mad at your pencil? It's your pencil swap, right? Come on, man. Come on. I mean, sorry for the analogies, but I mean, at the end of the day, how else do I explain this shit? You know what I mean? I mean, serious. You know? It is what it is. Let me see here. I can't tell any difference as far as core foods. Don't know if they work or not. All it is is hype of things. Exactly. And that's why I kind of watch what I do and watch how I say things because at the end of the day, you're going to say, well, Rico, you, you said this. Well, that's why people just keep it real. If I keep it real, if I tell it like it is off the gate, how I truly feel, guess what? I said what? You damn right I said it. Oh, tell me something I didn't know. Tell me something new, please. You know what I mean? That's just my attitude because people made me that way. People made me that way at a very young age. I mean, and I'm not, the, the way I grew up, that's just what it was. It was easier to just be real. Real be who you are. That stuck out so far that if somebody sneezes, you fall over because you're full of shit. You know what I mean? Um, I just prefer not to be full of shit. I prefer to stand by a, a company that wants uh, me to keep it real. Um, you know, I don't. You know, they're you know they're here. They're here. That's all I can say. They're here. You know, it's up to you guys. You want to go? You know, whatever. They gave me a code for you guys. Five percent for life. You want to take advantage of saving some money? There you go. There, here. I was just a middleman, okay? You know, you guys knew me first before you knew them, right? At the end of the day, I'm just a middleman. Maybe not because they've been around since 2006, but I think 2006, somewhere around there. But anyway, um, or maybe later, maybe earlier. I don't know. But it, regardless, regardless, you guys would not believe this company, just like any other company, uh, when they got when they're up there doing their same shit that I'm doing right now, telling you my true my true opinion, they're not telling you the truth. You wouldn't believe shit that they had to say, just like any other company, you know? Because why? Wow, oh, they, they're just trying to do it to sell shit. Well, I mean, they can't be in business if they're not selling shit. At the end of the day, they do have to, you know, show what they have to offer to you guys. And is it shit or not shit? Is it like really good or not good? Flu bowl? No, fuck flu. I mean, not to be funny, but fuck no. Like, that's not my first choice. But if I had a brand new room, you know, as far as first choice, let me take that back. First choice is to grow corals in. You know, no, it's not. As a frag tank, okay. Need something or whatever, maybe that 32 for sure. Um, this quarantine, quarantine system. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. If I want something nice, clean looking. I mean, but they've been around for how long? Are they a shitty company? Nah. Do I think they can do what, produce better shit? Yeah. But they're setting their ways and on freshwater side, shit. They, they ain't going anywhere. You know, they don't have to worry about what I say. They don't worry about any of that shit. People are still going to buy that shit. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm just telling you my personal opinion for people that are new coming into the hobby. It's not my first option. What, what would be your first option? This all-in-one system or a water box system? Let me ask you guys that real quick. What would you rather have? Fluval first system or a water box first system? Let me, I'm just kind of curious. Now here, let me help you all out. This is where money comes in. 
Great system all in one, including lights. Well, shit, you ain't got to do nothing but plug it in. Water box. Water box, you got to buy the light. You got to buy the light. I mean, you're paying for much, but you got to buy the light. You got everything else that this has, but you don't have a light over here. Now, as far as price point between the two, uh, this 13 and a half versus this is a 15. This is close. This is closer than, well, no, you got the, you got, well, it's closer than the, uh, no, it's not 10, 13 and a half, 10 and 15. So between all three of these, uh, not to be funny to me, I'm sure you guys already said it, water box, water box, water box, all day. Of course. Even though that you have to buy an extra light. Sorry, that just would be my first choice. But it would not be my first choice on a quarantine system, fish quarantine system. Sorry. Five gallons. First off, five gallons all in one, it's five gallons. Water changes. Okay? To keep up with this, these fish in quarantine. You're talking about if you're going to quarantine a fish, you're talking what, how long? A month? A month and a half? Some might go full eight weeks. Uh, 12 weeks. Uh, it just depends. Depends. Are you using chemicals? Uh, are you treating the aquarium? Now, there was some secret sauce that was dropped uh, about some uh, other. Uh, well, I've talked about the forehand too and stuff on, on, on a. For Zoas. Okay. But there was some other stuff that was just released, you know, as well. Some secret sauce, which you could buy you know, formaldehyde and all kinds of other stuff to go with certain corals, right? So my 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 dude at Tropic Marine, why he had such a good quality of fish is because he used certain products. I never really discussed because that's kind of what, you know, kind of his little little secret sauce, but it came out anyway. But um yeah, there's things that you can do to speed up the process. Uh, to guarantee, you know, your fish are not going to have pests and all kinds of stuff. Um, X uh, water box tank is my next purchase. That says keep rising. All right. Uh, damn, I got called out. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, there are certain things that, you know, you can do when it comes to, let's say, you're going to have a quarantine system. I, I don't do the quarantine. A lot of you guys already know that. I don't even know why people want to discuss that with me. Either I'm going to buy go to a place that has a very good uh record rapport with doing fish okay uh that has good quality of fish um now are they going to be all it free or whatever show signs it no nah, they're not and if they do they're they're stuck there they got their own quarantine you know but unfortunately my 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 person is no longer doing that they moved on up like the jeffersons okay so they moved on up they're doing their own thing and uh it is what it is right <clears throat> but anyway, back to it. Uh, Mr. Mike. Uh, ugly tank, uh, Fubo 31 is an ugly tank, but nice LEDs in my opinion. Yeah. Easy, solid. Lid. So the 32, yes. The 32, I definitely say, I, I definitely put that up because I think Fluvo might have something there. So if Fluval has something there, then I will give Fluval a, a hand for that one. But these other two Fluval, hell no. Hell no, Fluval. But I understand if somebody on the, in the freshwater side wants some filtration and shit and use it for some plants and whatever else that they do, some, uh, uh, what do they do, fancy shrimp tanks now and all that. Hey, there you go, Fluval. I give you that, but... I want to see what this tank down here is going to do, Fluval, before I give you up. Okay? 
So just saying, Flu Bowl. Uh, I agree 100. percent The 32 is what I think is best bang for the buck. That's where I'm at. So if <clears throat> on first initial outside, I mean, listen, I don't need to run this damn tank to tell you guys if if it's good or not. The only thing I need to know is if these lights are good. Which I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say that they're, they're probably okay. You know, not to be funny. <clears throat> I think they're probably okay. But to be honest with you, uh, I, I'll go on a limb and say the, the 32 is where it's at. If you're going to do a tank or want to do a tank and you want to keep it somewhat, you know, on a small side, that 32, uh, I think the 32 is where it's at. Now, as far as growing core, what you're going to grow, now that's yet to be seen or heard with those lights. But I think those lights pack a bang. You know what I mean? And I did a part test on it for you guys. So it, it is what it is, not to be funny. Those are full controllable lights. That's bang for your buck all day on, on the 32 and a half. What is it, 32 and a half level? Um, I, 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 I'd get that all day, you know, if I was that type of guy. So just saying. I'm just saying. I'll say you got, you got it right there. Keep it real. I'm going to always keep it real, man. I'm going to keep it real, you know, to the day I die, you know. At the end of the day, listen, what I get, I don't get a thrill off of, of all this. But at the end of the day, I don't want to sell my integrity and who I am as a person. I understand that I can be a little loud, obnoxious, uh, whatever the case may be. But that's my personality, man. I like to have fun. And I also like to kick ass when I need to kick ass, you know what I mean? When I'm in the gym, when I, if I want to, you know, my back wasn't screwed up and back on the wrestling mats and all that, and I... Don't get it twisted. I mean, I can still do all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for it later, though. It's gonna take me about two weeks to recover. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for it. I might have to take, go to the hospital, get a couple good shots and some good stuff to, 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 to let me walk again. You know. But at the end of the day, this is who I am. And if people can't respect who you are, fuck them. You know what I mean? In, in life is too short. In the world we live in today, honesty is the best policy. Just keep it real and keep it moving. We all know you could be the nicest guy in the world. You could be the nicest guy in the world. And you know people are still going to shit on you. Or they're going to have something to say about you. Or they're going to talk about you. At the end of the day, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? There's people I talk shit about, but I can tell it to their face too. You know what I'm saying? Because I call them on their shit because I see the avenue or the angle that they were trying to do something. Or I was being secretly behind my back. So it is what it is. I will never be the victim. You know what I mean? And I will never cry or play the victim. I just keep it real and keep it moving. If, 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 if something happens, I go, I go here. I don't have a problem going live and talking about it. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I respect everybody in this hobby until you don't respect me or until you do something foul, which I warrants me to say something. Like there's, there's one thing that's still been on my mind that bothers the shit out of me. And I'm trying to still be professional about it. Um, to this day, I'm trying to be as professional as fuck about it. That bothers the hell out of me. That is bullshit. Bullshit because of, you know, certain things. But I'm not going to get into that. But I'm just trying to tell you guys. It is what it is. But anyway, I think this was uh tell us, tell us. No, I'm not going to get into it right now. And at some point, I probably will. And I think you guys would agree with me 110%, you know, what I have to say. And I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I did because there were other people that were there that worked for this company. And I didn't want them to be looked down on, but they're slowly are leaving and vacating. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But... No, I have a problem with that, and, I, I, and it bothers me. It really bothers me to this day. What's up, my dog? How's it going, my man? Uh, the tease, you tease. No, I'm not teasing. I'm being real, man. And we're like an hour or so past our our, our one hour mark. Um, you close to aquatic technology? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not far from technology. I mean, probably like forty minutes. Um, Uh, I'm planning on putting a custom canopy on my water box to hide the light. Plus, it feels 
Um, core like can swim or wait a minute, hold on, where am I at? The chat's going now. Uh, true, some people are shitty. Yeah, uh, people are. People are really whatever. And like I said, you think you know who you're dealing with until some shit hits the fan. And when shit hits the fan, then you really know who you're dealing with. The people that you think that are whatever ain't always what they see. You know, I think they scoff up themselves sometimes or talk themselves out of certain things, uh, maybe because of certain things. It's not a good image or it's not this, it's not that. Well, once again, when people stop worrying about what everybody else fucking thinks about them, I think the world will be a better place. Um, I think, you know, being honest about um, this hobby, because this hobby is small, this hobby. Well, it's not as small as one may think, but it is small. And a lot of people are misled to go down certain paths two, three, four times without the information. Now that I put this information about, like, say, Fluval, how I feel about it. Now, you got to understand this. This is just my personal opinion. Somebody in Freshwater would be like, they're looking at this in a whole different light. Okay? I'm looking at this on the saltwater side of things. First and foremost, quote me on that. Okay? At the end of the day, I... It's, these are things that they can improve on. Now, whether they, they improve them or no or not is, is, is another story. I don't know. You know, and I, I mean, it, and I have nothing against Google. As a matter of fact, one of the reps at, when I was at uh, Reef of Palooza, New York, they were there for Freshwater or whatever. I got I got one of, one of their, uh, their cards. They just they heard about me, seen me, whatever, gave me a card. I just never reached out to them. Okay. I don't want to, I didn't really don't want to be in bed with a bunch of people uh, in, the, in the industry. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. I don't want to be over here and over here and over here and over here. Now, if there are things that I use from different individuals, that's one thing. But to do what I'm doing right now, I don't want to be, no. I think I, I'm fine with saltwateraquarium.com for the simple fact is, like I said, I didn't know where they were really coming from when I first like met them. Like Big Ken is that. Yeah, cool, man. He cool as hell. And they really like to have fun. They're not about the drama and shit. I'm gonna just be honest. Um they really like to have fun and they, when they, when you are with them and shit, I have fun. I never had a bad time at, at any time that I've been with these guys at all. It's always been pleasant. It's been relaxing. It's been like a moose out of me. It's been a lot of these things. Now I don't want to shoot myself in the foot by saying all these things, but I'm just being real. I never had a bad experience with these guys. You know, I mean, I got to say what I say, but once again, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. And I ain't got no wood to knock on around here. Okay. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm choosing these guys to really talk about these products and talk about products um, and what's, how I truly feel about them. And if it's, if it's crap or I think it needs improvement, then that's, that's where I'm at with it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, um, me doing this, but uh, this is what it, this is the time that I'm telling you, this is what I'm doing. And I tell you that this is a time and a place to tell or not to tell. And now I'm telling you, this is, well, truly, if you haven't figured it out yet, most of you guys probably have it. Uh, no offense. <laughs> I know Angry Al hasn't figured shit out yet. But, uh, <laughs> but no, <laughs> uh, this is where it's at, you know, um, and that's why I'm, I'm here. I don't think any other company truly, truly respects me for who I am and what I bring to the table or what I offer to the table. Um, I'm not going to buy subscribers. That's out. I'm not going to boost my shit to have these numbers. I think, you know, I need real people. I need real engagement. I need real people like you guys right now. You're, you're typing away in the chat. You know, I need realness. I don't need fake people, you know, go on somewhere. You know, I don't need any of that. I don't need to boost my numbers to something ungodly that doesn't even represent my channel at all. I need real people. I need real people in my corner to respect me as me, respect my realness. Uh, can I tone stuff down on how I talk about certain things? I can, but why? 
Why can't I just be me? If this is who I am, then this is who I am. I don't tell you who you are or what to do or what to wear to work or how to dress or what car you should buy. I don't get into nobody's shit like that. I, I mean, I, I respect the person for who they are and who they, how they came at me. That's how I get down. And, uh, and all you guys that ever met me at a show can't even up here and say a fucking bad thing about me. I've been cool with everybody. I kept it real. I, I allow one on ones, walk off, talk to you, do whatever the case may be. Anybody that's ever met me cannot say shit like that. Period. They can't. I have fun at show. My wife tells me, used to tell me, it looked like you have more fun at the show than you do at home. Well, damn, I got three kids and, and, and you to deal with. I love y'all, you know, but I'm with you all the time. These shows are. Scribe here, here. This is like, hell yeah, let's go. You know, let's have a party. Let's go fucking kick it and hang out with people that follow me. It's not nothing personal. You know, I love my wife. I love my kids. You know, but damn, if I could get a little vacation in, in something that I like and seeing all these cool ass corals and people, then huh, I, honey, love you. Peace. Meow. Or wee. You know what I'm saying? Or you can come with me, but I'm out. I'm telling you, I, this was before you, honey. This was before you. It's nothing personal. Trust me. I love you. Okay? I love my family. I love being married. I love it. I love everything. But this was my first love, and I can't divorce her. Okay? And I'm just being real. Just being real. So, uh, you hand out so much love at the show. And we find a way to uh, to hang out, uh, hand out other stuff too. Oh yeah, find a way to hand out other stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I do, I do show a lot of love at the show, man. You know, um, because people are. You know, listen, I'm not gonna let some bad apples, you know, on my live streams or whatever I choose to do. Um, apologize right now though for uh, being over my hour. No the hell I'm not apologizing for that. You either like this or you don't. But anyway, um you know I I, I, I try to just, you know, I, I, I love people. I, I mean and I, I think a lot of people are good. There are a lot of good people in this industry in this hobby. There is. And, you know, some of us do have our bad days and some of us have our good days. There's been times I've been at a show and I was really having a fucked up day. You know what I mean? But you guys never seen it. This is an experience that you guys want to um, do. It's like hang out with, you know, some of the people you follow or, you know, get some, get a beer, get some coffee, get some lunch, get some pictures, whatever the case may be, man. Uh, this is your time, okay? It's my time, too, so I can't allow what's personally maybe going on in my life or whatever to come to a show and rub off. There's only one time in all the times that I've I've done shows, one time, and that happened recently before, you know, that I actually rose my voice and was shaking so bad because I was scared of what I might have done. And if somebody didn't just leave me to fuck alone and be quiet, it could have been bad. And I'm not trying to be funny and I'm not promoting violence or anything like that. I'm just being real. There's only one time ever. And it wasn't from a follower, neither. Um, you know, and it, it was from a place because of what someone said to another person and, 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 and was in my home and violated my home which I told you I'm not talking about, but I'm giving y'all some teasers or some hints, but violated my home, and I felt violated. And the person was just, let's just say, glad that I liked it them and whatever, or it would have been all bad. You know, it could have been really bad really fast because this is my place where I lay my head, and you you violate me. You violated me. Me in a, in, a, in, a, in a bad way, which, you know, and it, it, and the only reason it was because of another person. But, you know, it's not 
it's 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 not a follower. Just let's just say that. But that's how I feel. Mad dog, man. You didn't have to do that, brother. Thank you so much. Mad Dog hit me and blessed me with a super chat. That is awesome. Thank you, Mad Dog. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, I figured out that logo is 100% not, not level. How did he get banned for that? Did I miss something? <laughs> Sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. It was in my pocket. <laughs> I'm like, it wasn't even trolling. He just said that. I thought it was a camera too. So maybe it's this, but sorry, Angry Eye. I, hey, bro. I mean, maybe just take it on the chin for something you did before that he didn't. He, he wanted to, but he didn't. Uh, he said it was in his pocket. I, I don't understand why your name was lit up though in his pocket. <laughs> I don't understand that one. Uh, Alan Brown. Hey, Alan Brown. Shout out to Alan Brown. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, anyway, it was a long time coming, Angry Al. Right. <laughs> That's all I can say, Angry Al. I mean, you, I understand if you're angry now, but at the end of the day, it probably was a long time coming, buddy. Uh, long time coming. But damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> all right, guys. Um, I don't know. I guess we can wrap this up. Uh, can I? Can let me let, can, listen. Not everybody answer if you don't want to answer. I would greatly appreciate if you answer this. Will you? Let me ask you this. I know you guys don't know the question. How many of you guys, if I was to ask you a question and ask you to be real on it, um. Would you answer in the comment section? Let's go right now. Let me get my coffee. You guys got my coffee. I just talked like an hour and 20 minutes so fast. I don't even know where the time went. And my coffee's full cup. Now it's cold. Thank you, guys. Claudia said yes. Who else? Uh, Arkid, you should work for Twitter. Uh, where... <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the censor? <laughs> no, you didn't go there, Val. No, you didn't go there. 100% real over here. All right. Uh, plus one. That means you were having a good time. There you go. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, keep it real. So, yeah. All right. Do you think, honestly, what I'm doing here uh, for this company, let's just say, um, should I be should I be doing it? I'm just gotta ask you guys. Should I? Do y'all think I should be doing this and keeping it real with you guys, or should I not do anything with anybody? Or do you think the company should be, you know, cool with me doing this? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. I mean, that's it. That's a, that's. I'm just being real, man. Naked dog. Thumbs up. Uh, do whatever makes you happy. All right. Yep, yep. Thank you, man, dog. Keep it real. Keep it real. Carl says I met you at Magna 2019 in Orlando. Uh, you are the same. You keep it 100. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, keep being real always. All right. I, I just thank Scott. Scott's been around a long time, man, too. But uh, no, I just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, this company, I feel like in a lot of ways, that's their name here. You know, and, and they got to stand by them, too. They got to be stand up strong. And they got to stand behind what they're trying to represent, too. And if they're trying to represent, as far as I'm concerned, you guys let me know right now if I'm wrong when I say this. But if they're trying to represent a strong, powerful company that stands behind everything they do, they need a strong, they need a strong influencers to, to stand behind, too, right? I mean, let's be real. You can't, you can't, I feel like 
they they've done nothing but really kind of show me that they trying to make a statement, you know. And I know where this company came from, okay, out of a basement. And I'm, I'm being serious. And they've grown and they've showed a lot of you guys because I've said things and all you guys got to say is nice things about them. I understand you got to discredit, disgruntled whatevers, but at the same time, uh, the majority, I mean, 99.99% of you guys got nothing but good to say about this company. And at the end of the day, they're a company that provides a lot of aquarium needs to us, you know, as hobbyists. And um, I just kind of want to make sure I was making the right decision too, you know. The other day I had some I had some soul searching to do, you know, and thinking, like, they've never done anything wrong to me. Let me, let me, let me be real with you. They've never done anything. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I was to seriously really take it to this level here, you guys are still going to respect them. You know, you ain't got no choice but respect me because I'm going to keep it real whether you like me or not. But respect, man. Respect is everything. And I think they're, they're, they, 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 they give respect and they also demand their respect. So shout out to Saltwater Aquarium, man. You guys uh, got nothing but great things. Why not? You know, uh, let me read some of this. Uh, why wouldn't you, uh, wouldn't a company have a person that is honest like you? Well, thank you. I don't know. I mean, look, I've been doing this for how long? I'm going to be real with you. I've been doing this for how long? I did high door, like whatever. Pilot Lab, I don't consider Pilot Lab a cop. I mean, because I, I, I love those guys. I love Stefano over there. I love Boss Man over there. You know, they always been good to me. From the very beginning, they always been good. You know, you know, I go to the show. I represent them at the show, too. And they always, they, they, you know, they, they always looked out for me. And that says a lot, you know. And they never asked for shit. You know, I'm going to be honest. They never asked for a damn thing. They just said, man, we, we, we just love what you do, man. That's one. High door, same thing. Brightwell? Yes and no. I mean, there's whatever with them. But, you know, not to be funny, you know, it is what it is, you know. I mean, I, I Brightwell is Brightwell, you know, and I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just saying, you know, but the companies that, you know, whatever, them, I never had Pilot Lab, High Door, you know. Hey, Rico, just, hey, man, just, just love what you do, man. I don't fuck. You know, now I go to, I talk to everybody at the show. Like, there's a lot of people I talk to. There's a lot of people, whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, Aqua FX. You know, not to be funny. Doug and all them over at Aqua FX. Shout out to them fucks over there, man. They're good too, you know? Never had a, I mean, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Ain't shit for free. You know what I mean? I don't care what anybody says. Ain't shit for free. Something comes with a price. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm just being real. Ain't nothing for free. You know, you're going to pay your dues and pay your bills just like I got to pay my dues and pay my bills. You know, work is work. This shit is work too, you know, but it's, at least it's a work that I enjoy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I love I love keeping it real, you know. Uh, also, uh, what do you want to know? I'm always 100%. You've seen my comments. Hey, Marcus, you damn right. Appreciate it, my bud. Uh, yeah, it's time you did something, Rico. Well, thank you, Carrie. Thank you for, you know, I, I, it probably is time. It's probably time that I really got out here and I expand with a company or, or do something with a company, really, really do something uh, with them. Now, I got a lot of fucking work to do because, you know, I got to get this tank and I need shit for this tank. So I got a lot of fucking work to do, obviously. But, uh you know, it is what it is. I'll just work my ass off on things that I need for this tank. That's what I'll do, you know, but I'm not going to sell my integrity for it. I'm not going to sell who I am for it. I mean, if I got to put in work and talk, you know, do my talks and, you know, do represent what I got to do, whatever, I will do it, but it will be 110% all fucking honesty. And I'm not going to sell my soul or my integrity for it. That's for damn sure. That's how. So it is what it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep raising. Thank you so much. He says, thanks for keeping it real. Always. I will always do that. Trust and believe that one. Um, anyway, uh, what else was said? Uh, 
Yeah, uh, Nicole Robinson says, yeah, I think you should continue as long as it makes you happy, do it. I think so, too. Staying busy. Rico, I feel like they're they're at the same level as you are. That's respect. That's what that's what staying busy says. Thank you so much. That that, that says a lot, man. Uh, Marcus says um, it's moving, Rico. Keep it real. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Insane reefer. Why not? Question mark. They are great. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. These are positive feedbacks. Uh, you know, this is awesome. Uh, Alan Brown says saltwater aquarium is dope. Sweet. They shit fast too. <laughs> Angry Owl, why would why would say my opinion, but I will get called a troll at the same time out again. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, Val says if saltwateraquarium.com supports being real, I'll be buying from them for sure. Hey, Val, there you go. I mean, for real. For real. What what other companies supports being real? Because, fuck, I'm not trying to be funny. There's uh, two other major players, and I'm not taking jabs at them. But uh, are they, did they reach out and say, hey, Rico? Hey, Rico? No. You know why? Because of who I am. You know what I mean? And it might not fit with their gold standards, maybe, of, of uh, business, but uh, it is what it is, man. I mean, it's time. It's time to have real motherfuckers representing this shit on a real level that are been, been hobbyists for X amount of time that's willing to keep it real. Nobody wants to do that, though, because it, it, it doesn't promote the business. Uh, that's bullshit. It, it probably makes more business. It makes more sense. But anyway, if it makes more dollars, it makes more sense, right? Um. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me get back here. Da -da 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 -da. It's dope. Blah, blah, blah. Much okay, Bobby Calhoun says respect. Uh, Val says saltwater name real. Uh, said saltwateraquarium.com uh, supports being real. I'll be buying from them, from them for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, your arsenal for the reef hobbyists, a weapon for the reef community, what it comes to reviews and truth telling. Thank you so much. That's the Herm. So the Herm once again says you're a arsenal for the reef hobbyists, a weapon for the reef community when it comes to reviews and truth telling. Thank you once again. Thank you for that. Uh, full uh, design aquariums now with free filter media. <laughs> right. Um, insane refund. If there is something I'm going to buy, I look there's I, I look there's first to see if they have it. Oh, you look there first, so that's awesome. So, what aquarium is though, uh, but their YouTube game is weak, they need some muscle on the team, really. They need you. Uh, you know, it's funny you said that. Let me say, so I don't even know why. Saltwater Aquarium should be watching this. They really should. They, you know, um, you know, Alan Brown, the funny part about it is I love my dude. You know, I mean, we don't get to hang out much. We went to Disney together, me and Mark Callahan and, and the rest of the Saltwater crew. Um I mean, not to be funny, they, they they did try to get me before all that started, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm, I honestly, I'm, once again, I told you kind of the story. When they came at me, I thought it was bullshit. I never did really get at them. I never came at them about it, anything else. I mean, I'm going to be real. He was like, hey, what's it going to take you? Throwing out numbers. And it wasn't bullshit numbers. You know, at, it's a job. This is a job, Right? On some real shit. I, I thought it was bullshit. And I, and I didn't take it serious because you got to understand where I come from. I've been in this game longer than he has. Saltwater Quirk. Okay? I've been in this game since 96, bro. Okay? A lot. I've been, I've been in this hobby. You hear a lot of shit. You know what I mean? And a lot of people say a lot of things. At the show, people promise the world to you. People say all kinds of shit. 
They get you by the balls. They get you to talk about something that you don't do their fucking job, and they go on about their business. You know what I mean? They didn't got a couple more people that have stole from you. Your 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 thunder uh, over there, and that's just that. I was number one. I feel like Jersey Show now when Paulie and Vinny got got divorced because Paulie's in love now. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> my wife got to be watching that. I don't watch that. Serious, guys. I got a reputation, you know, to, to look after. But, no, the, the funny thing is, I mean, they did, um, and I'm just going to be real with you, they, they did come at me, you know, and I didn't, I just left it for what it was. And um, not to be funny, I think, uh, I, 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 I get what you're saying. I mean, but, hey. You know, I'm here. I'm here. You know, it's up to them to want to utilize me, um, what they, you know, and, and however they want, as long as I'm keeping it real, as long as I'm, you know, I'm not being, you know, because nobody's my real dad, man. I mean, men to men talk, conversation, meetings of the minds, matching apples and oranges. That's all cool. That's all fun and dandy. But, uh, you know, that's the way it should be. But when it comes to, you know, um, Whatever, as long as, long as it's done respectful, man, I, I don't care, man. You know, I, I honestly, you know, as long as it's, it's done in a respectful way. But, yeah, I do feel, uh, I feel you, you know. Um, uh, say on that, I mean, let's see, what else? Uh, I feel like at the same time. Uh, levels as you are, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Arsenal, yeah. If there's something I'm going to buy, you look there first, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's Alan Brown. Saltwater Cream is dope, but their YouTube game is weak. Sorry, 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 Saltwater Cream. I feel your game is weak, though, on YouTube. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, but, you know, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's good to be just honest. I mean, honest reviews are good. This is how you learn to step up your shit. This is how you learn to become better. Like, not to be funny, you want to be a YouTuber? Your skin is soft. You don't even realize how fucking soft you are until you deal with the trolls. And then when you're done dealing with the trolls and you made it out of Trollville, shit, your skin is thick, man. You just keep on going. Like, for real, you just, there's nothing they can do to stop you. You just keep going, you know? So it's good, you know? And I'm sure I'm, they're not taking that shit to heart, man. Um, but that's good because they, they know, they know where they need to, to what they, how they need to work on or what they need to work on. So that's awesome, man. It's awesome. You know, said so their game is weak. They need some muscle on their team. Uh, really they need you. And, and you know what? That's flattering, man. I must well say, you know what? I'm going to say thank you for that, man. Cause that's, that's awesome, man. That's like real, not, recognize it real. You know what I'm saying? Um, Vals has agreed with Alan on that statement. Uh, Keep Rising says, $5. Hey, thank you for the super chat again. He said, thanks for keeping it real. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Mr. Saltwater Water's doing react videos complaining about Xenia, GSP, and wire uh, management. Well, you got to love the hobby. If you love the hobby, you're not going to complain about that, right? I mean, I don't know. I haven't watched any of his stuff uh, lately. I mean, I'm cool. We're good. Um, you know, it's, it comes part of the game, right? I mean, so I don't know. That's Algae Warrior uh, says that. I have not. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, saltwater Crooms and water box will be... Uh, be your thing, Rico. Uh, saltwater aquariums and water box. Uh, what do you mean? Well, saltwater aquariums is my thing. Uh, water box can be a thing. Like I'm going to set up an aquarium. Really doesn't matter what name. Well, it does matter because I don't want shit neither. Um, so it does matter. But at the end of the day, if we got to talk about aquariums and different brands or whatever that they keep, fuck. I don't. You know, it is. You know, it is what it is. Um. Let's see. What else? Uh, 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 saltwater, uh, they need to hook. Uh, they need to hook up with 
a firm for large purchases. Um, that is something. You guys, listen, everything that you guys are talking about here right now, you know that you guys can email them these conversations that I've had, these live streams. And uh, I'm leaving this up, obviously, even though it's like going to be a two-hour live stream, unfortunate. But whatever it is, it is what it is on this one. Um, but you guys could, you know, address these things. And you know what? That helps them. It's like having a suggestion box. Email it. Let them know. Doesn't hurt. I mean, that's they, they signed up for this. You know what I mean? They, when you have a business, you get all kinds. You get flooded with emails and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Um, 24, 24 years. <laughs> yeah. Staying busy. Rico is the bulldozer of 2021 to doze the bullshit out the way. <laughs> um, I've always tried to bullshit the bullshit out the way, doze it over because it is bullshit. Keep shit simple. Keep it easy. Fuck, this hobby is not hard. It's hard as you make it. It is what you want to add to it. It's what you want to buy to it. I mean, fuck, man. I'm so tired of listening to people fucking bitch and complain and cry about this or that. And it's very simple. Keep this and that out your fucking way and just do you. You know what I mean? Do your aquarium. Go get information from fucking places that matter. Just like when you go to buy shit. Whether it's Saltwater Aquarium or these two other big companies, you buy where you the fuck you want to buy from. Now, if that company, your main company, doesn't have shit that you that they, you know you want them to carry, tell them to carry it. If they see the demand for it and if they can get it, then they'll get it. You know, if not, they can't be bitch about you want to go somewhere else for this one item that they choose not to carry or whatever the case may be. It is what it is. You're number one. They're number one. If they're number one, then they're number one. With your shit, your purchases, if it's something that you can't get you, or don't got a hold of, or don't get in, then you can't say nothing about you going to number two. You know, it is what it is. It's funny that I say that because I, I say this in relationships, just for everybody to know. You know, and it's kind of off the topic, but it's a great analogy. And what this, what 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 I'm saying here is, you know, if your number one ain't doing what you need them to, uh, need them to do for you, you go with option two. Because whatever number one won't do, number two will. Sorry for all you ladies that are listening to this guy on YouTube uh, make a statement like that. But I'm just saying, girl, get on your game, girl. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Jesus. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Rico, my honest opinion, I really want to see you working with a huge company. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me stand up for this one. Claudia says, oh, Rico, my honest opinion, I really want to see you working with a huge company with doing you, uh, what doing you keeping it real. Saltwater Aquarium and Waterbox would be a great look. Are you listening? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, I am listening. Uh, I am listening. Uh, Mr. Carey, I am listening, my man. He said, ha ha, you tripping. <laughs> I love replaying these live, live streams at work. Great to listen to, like to catch anything I missed. <laughs> All right, you never know what I'm going to say, right? Uh, Rico is his own huge company. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I spent 5K with another company because they offered financing. And that's, you know, and that's understandable too. And uh, make a dog, so I, but I know you buy a lot through saltwateraquarium.com, so it is what it is. Uh, Staying busy, says Carrie. He's weeding out all the bullshit huge companies. I'm weeding out anybody that is on some bullshit. Uh, and I'm just going to be frank with that. It's time. Um, it's time. And I, I don't need a company to stand behind me to do that. I, I have my own person. I am my own entity. Um, and I have the right to speak my mind clearly. I don't have the right to talk shit where it doesn't need to be talked shit at or make up shit. 
But at the same time, if it's something that is true and whatever, uh, then yeah, I can talk about it and I can whatever. Uh, I will never just disrespect companies just to disrespect them. I, they would have to draw first blood first. You know what I mean? Um, and that's just that. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm tired of bullshit. I don't know about you all. Um, are you tired of it? Because I am. I'm tired of listening to bullshit. I'm tired of hearing about all this, this, and that. I'm tired of motherfuckers talking about, oh, you know, that's why y'all wonder why I don't, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you don't, you don't look at other people's channel. Fuck no, in this hobby. No, why? Because they all sit here and say, oh my God, this filter shock just came out. It's the, Whoa, dude, God. Hold on, hold on. Woo, didn't even let my air go through. It's so good. Look at this brand new filter saw straight from water box, man. This is, look, man, look at this. Look at the detail. Look how thick, the thick this. Listen, y'all, I'm going to be honest, man. This is the best sock ever. By the way, my promo code's down here, you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The promo code. Oh, the link to the promo code is uh called Chinese Viral. I mean, uh, um, uh, water box. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So, you know, I'm tired of seeing that. I, I don't know why y'all y'all know that shit's fake. It's fake as hell. It's not cool. You bullshitting people. You lying to people. This is a fucking filter sock. It's a filter sock. What else, how good can this fucker be besides 100 microns, 200 microns? What do you want from this damn filter sock? Period. Period. What the fuck do you want from it? It is what it is. It's a filter sock. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm just tired. I'm tired of the bullshit infomercials. Um... People on YouTube that you know don't accurately represent any of the fucking products that they want to represent. They're not being honest about it. They're not. They're not because they're so afraid of losing a sponsorship, or they're so afraid of you know. Uh, well, I'll just say losing a sponsorship and losing the, the losing some money that the sponsorship is giving them. That they just sell their soul and sell out to the company, knowing that they, once they're washed up, the company don't give a fuck about them. Not to be funny, they don't give a damn about them, man. Come on, that company, just like any other company, that company is gonna still keep keep on ticking before you came in the picture. And when you're long gone, they are gonna keep on ticking. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of seeing it, uh, and I I'm a I can't control what happens on anybody else's channel. I can control what I do. I don't go looking over there. I don't give a fuck what goes on over there. I stick in my lane, stay in my lane. I do what I need to do um, and talk about what I feel like I need to talk about. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever the case may be. They ain't got to like it. Flu Boy ain't got to like what I had to say about some of their tanks. Waterbox, well, shit, I'm still looking. Um, about something. I don't even know what the hell. Yeah, I, what can I? It's a glass box. I can't even see. Besides, okay, I, water box. Fucking up your game. Merge with CJ. Water box. Merge with CJ. Put a CJ pump in your shit. You got the best aquarium. How about that? On, on a small scale, on a large scale, I don't know, but on a small scale, I'll say that shit. Nobody, cause I don't gotta start this motherfucker up to tell you it, it, it's it's glass. Seams are good. You know what I'm saying? The inside of here is a little, you know, whatever. It's not the best scene job, but I mean, fuck, it's inside of a, your 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 reservoir. I mean, your return chamber. So you ain't gonna look in there anyway. There's nothing in there for you to see. Stop your damn pump up. That's all. Don't stop making your own pump. If you want to make your own pump, make your own pump, but don't put it with your aquariums. It makes you look bad. The, other than that, get CJ, pair up with CJ. CJ should, you know, if you need help with CJ, I, I, I'll call I'll call Steve or somebody over at CJ. To tell them to get with you or something. I'm sure y'all met and talked before um, at the show. Get you a CJ pump in here. Same with Fluval, man. Get, stop making them. Those are just for water change. Mix some salt, man. That's all that is. Uh-huh. Rico draining the swamp. I've been trying to drain the swamp. 
It's just 2021. I told y'all it's over. 2021, I'm shooting for record videos, record everything. I'm just going all out. Why not? <laughs> What's a company or without a company? I'm going to go. I'll see, you on the, uh, I'll see you on the finish line. That's all. You can either be with me or you can be against me. Who cares? That's what I'm doing. Uh huh. So, uh, yeah, hopefully Waterbox sees this and uh, get with CJ, man. You get with CJ? Shit. For your return pubs? Listen, you got a deal. Because I ain't going to lie, this little 15 is really sexy. I like this. I mean, I like this more than the cube, the 10 cube, not just because of 10. I'm sure you can do a 15 cube of it. But on a small scale, I like the peninsula style. I think a lot of people can relate on that. Uh, so, what else? Uh, I just use so, uh, use my dirty socks. Well, that's cool too, you know. Rico ran in the swamp. <laughs> uh, Rico, I was a uh, was quite uh, uh, following these reek tubes till I realized they were pushing junk. Uh, um, quilts uh, following. So you were following until you realized they were pushing junk. Well. Well, it's fine if they push junk, but they need to say it's fucking junk. That's the problem. They won't. They're afraid to. They're afraid to. God forbid they, you know, all they all they do on YouTube, these YouTubers, and, 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 and a lot of them, I'm, I'm not going to lie, a lot of them suck the paint so hard that the souls come out of these companies' assholes. That's how these YouTubers do. They, they Boy, they, they so good, they suck at golf balls through garden hoses. Uh, and trying to make you know, and, and why? Why? I don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand. It. You know. Hey. Uh, uh, Harkins. Harkins is banning people. Oh my God, Harkins. Oh my. What is Harkins doing? Harkins is a pocket dialing people in his pocket. I'm gonna have to get Harkins. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I got I got to remove him right now for a minute. Sorry, I, I got to remove Harkins over here. He over here pocket dialing, butt banding. Marcus was hidden. Let me see. Unhide users channel. Damn. All right, Marcus, you're on here. Anybody else? Shit. No, I'm looking. I had to take. I had, I had to take this nigga's wrench away real quick, man. This dude. This dude lethal today. Hark, Harkins Aquatic, man. You lethal today, man. I gotta go through here and make. Sh man, listen to this dude. All these chat. He deleted. I gotta go ahead now. You got me back. Voice my t boy. They all had it coming. <laughs> Hark is over here swinging riches and stuff, man. I had to unhide and unbank. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, he put everybody on death row. He was slinging. But anyway, guys, uh, what do we got here? All right, let me. Can I? Can I sit down, y'all? Can I come and sit down? Can I come and sit down? Let me sit down. Let me let me let me let me let me, let me, let me, uh, let me get the big boy get some weight off his self a little bit. Uh anyway, guys, I greatly appreciate all you guys had to say um and giving you guys his honest opinion. This is what this channel needs to have honest opinion. You guys, I said honestly, tell me how you feel about me be, being with this company. You guys made it said that you I should have, you know, be behind some big companies or pe companies should have had me a long time ago. Um, I told you the story with Saltwater Aquarium. It ain't like they didn't ask me. They did. So I can't let them take a hit on the chin or you guys feel a certain type of way about them on that subject because they asked. I, I didn't bite because um, I just feel like people bullshit, man. People say a lot. You know, oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You know, oh, yeah, yep, I got you, I got you, I got you. And then as soon as you start whatever, then they start backpedaling a little bit. And I don't like that shit. I, I don't. I hate that shit. I don't, I don't go looking for shit. I don't, you know, whatever. 
You know, if there's something I, I, I truly use or whatever, if I ask you, that's one thing. But if I didn't ask you and you offer, that's 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 where I kind of like, I hate that shit. A lot of people do that. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Don't don't offer shit and then turn around and then see, you know, whatever. You know, just be straight up, you know. Be straight from the beginning, you know. Can't you can't can't do that. You can do that, you know, but that, that shit's not cool. And I've had companies do that or try to do that, and I'm good on that, man. I'm good. I'm really, I really am good on that. I don't like it. I don't uh, appreciate it. I think it's misleading. I think it's deceptive. I think it's, you know, all these things, and it's not cool because I wouldn't do that to a company. If I told you I'm going to do something, then I'm going to fucking do it. Now, you know, I understand like maybe if I had some shit to come up in my life, you know, people have to be understanding and shit like that about that. You know, I didn't, if I'm not signing contracts or anything like that, you know, I don't, if, if, if a company really, if I really want to get with a company, they really want me to sign, I'd sign one, but it, that shit's going to a lawyer and we're going to make sure we have an understanding because I have a real life shit happens and I'm a man of my word. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people don't do that shit nowadays because everybody wants everything in black and white, and that's fine too. But at the end of the day, I'm a man of my word. If I tell you I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna fucking do it. That's just it. That's just all to it. I know people talk good game, but uh, I'm not game. I'm real, you know. And that's just that, man. Um, you know, they asked, um, and I never got back with them. You know, to to work. They want to work with me. You know, and and you know, and do some cool shit. Like, I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to be doing, like, boxes and stuff like that. There's other shit that you guys want a personal opinion on. Hit them up. Tell them, hey, send this shit to Rico or whatever you want. That's up to you guys. That's up to them, too. You know, um, I got, you know, there's, I'm pretty sure there's tons of shit to open. There's pretty shit, tons of shit to do reviews on. There's a lot of shit that I had in mind that I want to do with this tank and another tank. Um, and, and do full, full fucking fledged reviews and videos on, um, you know, just you got to take time. That's all. So anything else, you guys, uh, they will all have, have it coming. Yeah, right. Um, sometimes it's best to roll on your own. That is true. Sometimes it's the best way is to do you because, you know, you know, you never know, you know. But on the end of the day, we all deal with companies. We all deal with our purchases and have certain things. So it's also good to see um, companies really supporting. Like somebody mentioned, um, they like how Saltwater Aquarium supporting somebody that's real. Um, and and that's just it, you know. And you can't, you guys cannot compare me to Mark Callahan, okay, Mr. Saltwater Tank, aka Mr. Saltwater Tank. You can't compare me to him. You know, Mark is does his own thing and has his own audience and been doing this for quite some time. Do I think Mark could have had been somewhere fucking beyond in this industry as far as subscribers and shit? Fuck yeah. The man started off, you know, back God knows when, you know, but L.A. Fish guy, the same shit. You know, some people just don't like to change or they get comfortable and they don't want to come out of their their comfort zone. You know, and that's not saying anything bad about Mark, but L.A. Fish guy, Jim Stein and Scott. Like, I'm cool with Scott. You know, me and Scott's cool. I don't know Jim like that. But uh, Scott Lay, uh, he's he's cool, man. But um, he works for, like, another company, a big company. Well, he just got on about two years ago or so. But, like, Jim Stein, I mean, L.A. Fish guy. I mean, I'm sure you guys heard that name before or whatever. He has not got out of hippie air. You know what I mean? Like, cool dude. Not talking shit. But, like. You can't keep that old, old 70s porn fucking intro and expect to, you know, grow. Like, people don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? You know, unless you got a Harley, too, in there in the picture for the long hair, it's kind of like, I know, do you, be who you are. But at the same time, that wouldn't have hurt to throw a Harley in there or something in the background, you getting off the Harley and somebody else driving your, your truck <laughs> to set up equipments or something, you know what I'm saying? Like people would have enjoyed that too, you know. <clears throat> uh, but at the same time, um, you know, uh, Mark, I felt like his channel could be he could have been somewhere, whatever, too. And uh, 
you know, it is what it is, man. You don't know where this shit's going to lead you to. And you don't know, you know, if you're if you're comfortable with where you're at, then who am I to say anything about that neither? You see what I'm saying, how that goes? It's like, that's his comfort. That's where he likes to be. That's his comfort zone. And uh, at the end of the day, that's just who he is. He don't, don't want to change who he is. Just like I'm not going to change who I am. So for anybody uh, uh, that looks at that and try to compare, don't. You know what I mean? The way he handles himself, his business, there is a niche of people that follow him just for that reason. Just like there's a niche of you guys that follow me for who I am. Um, Saltwater Aquarium, I feel like, had two bad motherfuckers on the team right now. That's all. That's how I feel. You know, I, I, I feel that way. You know, I feel like he's got people, um, you know, Mark Callahan's followers, you know what I mean, that, um, you know, uh, appreciate uh, his his aura as a person. And, um, hey, I've hung out with him, so I don't see anything wrong with the guy, personally. I mean, you know, he's a little quiet and reserved, but, I mean, hey, you know, he is who he is. It doesn't mean I don't, you know, appreciate him for who he is. And he's part of Saltwater Corner Crew, so he's family, you know, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, Bike Week Daytona this year. I might go down there. Uh, next 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 weekend I'll be in Florida for a frag swap, frag show. Well, man, we're two minutes in. We're two minutes in, guys. I got to get the hell out of here. Two hours. I mean, two hours. Two minutes after. Two hour long live stream. Oh, my God. How did I do this to myself? Anyway, guys, would you guys like another live stream? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. Take advantage if you want to right now. If not, hey, I'll catch you guys whenever I catch you guys. The wife is sleeping right now. So if I was you, she's off tonight and tomorrow. I would take advantage of me right now. I mean, it's not cheating if I'm saying it live, right? You guys can take advantage of me right now. I'm not cheating on my wife, you know? Anyway, uh, start a new one. I'm down. All right. Well, all right, guys. Well, thank you all. And thanks for you guys getting those thumbs up. Hey, by the way, Mad Dog, shout out to you, man. That's been my dude, man. He's just cool, laid back, collective motherfucker, man. He really is, man. He, 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 he's a cool dude, man. Uh, shout out to him. Um... It is what it is, but uh, shout out to all the people that uh, super chatted too. Greatly appreciate it. Does help the channel, obviously. Um, who doesn't like a, a couple bucks for doing what they do, what they love to do? It's a job still. I'll say it. People be like, oh, nigga, Rico, he, he made it for money. <laughs> no, motherfucker, I'm working and telling you, keeping it real. That's what I'm doing. Can't help that you you mad because I say, hey, there's a way that there's a member button. Uh, there's a super chat button. You got the option. Stop being cheap, bitch. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I mean? Don't get mad at me. I love you, but don't get mad at me for that. You know? And I'm, and that's the ones that that applies to, not you guys that's been here. You know, I'm just saying. Besides tanks and Harleys needs upgrades. <laughs> Besides tanks and Harleys needs upgrades. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, I uh, appreciate you guys. It's uh, honestly, I, I love the honesty. I love what you guys are bringing to, to my channel. And, uh, I love that you guys, uh, just keeping it real too. And you want, you want real. I mean, it's a lot easier when you just keep it real and just be who you are and not have to be something you're not. So just saying, um, you know, uh, Mark is hardcore about the hobby. Hate to think about how much he spent on his remodel and tank build. Pretty awesome, though. Well, I mean, you got to remember, we're old school people, too. And um, people know who we are. And, and we do get a lot of help. You know what I mean? There's a lot of help that goes in. If we want to plan stuff and stuff like that, there's a lot of companies that's going to help out because it's our builds, Right. And because it's our builds, their stuff is going to be represented in these builds and stuff like that. So, and not to be funny, if you are who you are and you are of somebody, then a fair exchange has never been a robbery, right? So real quick, 
Um, and what I mean by a fair exchange has never been a robbery. If you're fucking doing something for someone, you know, yeah, you're getting paid money and other should be products. Therefore, if you're doing it, then you shouldn't really have a lot to whatever. It should be something these companies should be saying, here you go. Because at the end of the day, these fucking companies are going to make a, a nice return. People love Mark Callahan too, just like you guys love what I do. You going to follow and see what they used and you're going to make purchases. Let's be real. I've talked about that. But anyway, I got to go. I'm going to start up a new one for you guys and I'll be right back with that. Right. All right. Peace out.